Alright, now we're on mines one. Uh, the mines get to be a little bit more tricky. Um, it's not going to be as easy as the caves and uh, the forest was. Um, you're going to fight a little bit more um, enemies at one time along with them being stronger as well. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. I'm going against these things called guild chicks and um, they have the ability to hit you and slow you down or either they can shoot you from a distance with a laser. Um, I picked up some med guns at the end of the boss fight uh, with the cave, so those are going to come in handy to help me keep my distance and to not only um, shoot the enemy, but shoot them multiple times with an array of attacks. As you can see, the room is just filled up instantly with a lot of enemies, so I have to keep my space and try to maneuver around them using the med guns. And I'm going to probably pull out my sword here in a second when they get close enough. There we go. Guns out and repeat the same method. If you feel like the enemy is going to swim around you, don't be afraid to back away. Alright, just back away, keep your energy and preserve um, your health. Just went ahead and skip four because I went to a room that, uh, like I said, you can go through if you want to, but if not, then just continue forward with the game. Those little enemies are called canadines, and uh, they are a pain in the butt as well, too, especially when you're fighting against them. And along with guild chicks or them around with bronze, and I'll tell you what a bronze is once we get to them. Um, but by themselves, they're not too big of a deal. But when you're fighting against them with other enemies, they can cause trouble. So I was quick enough to eliminate them both before I ended up fighting against the guild chicks. picked up that partisan in a room that uh like i said if you want to go to you can go check out the other rooms i was fortunate enough to when i checked out the other rooms i found a partisan so that's going to come in handy too it's a lot faster than using the sword um using the partisan all right this is a dark room so i'm going to run in here to the top left corner and find a light switch to make it light all right so now i can see some things and there's a lot of enemies behind me so i'm pulling out the partisan um, and I'm able to be a little bit more swifter with it. The partisan is not as strong as the sword, but it's a little bit faster. laser can get annoying at times especially when there's a lot of guild chicks in the room um, even if you keep your distance they're able to shoot you even when you're moving like they did just now against me so um, just try to keep your distance if you can um, and then like I said maneuver around them as much as you can and go ahead and melee them with a, a partisan or a sword chapter on the ground what I used was a soul animizer the soul animizer like I said takes away any abnormal statuses from you whether it be shock confused slow uh, perilous or uh, your poison
And like I said, the main guns come in handy, especially when you have a, a, a nice amount of ATA. They're going to really help you out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and skip forward past this next scene. Alright, uh, these could be really difficult enemies as well too. These are Sinnoh beats. Um, there's a Sinnoh beat and then there's a Sinnoh gold. Um, the gold one is the stronger form of them. Um, those in a multiple, or multiple of those in a the room, they could really cause trouble to you. Um, your best bet would be just to, like I said, keep your distance. Um, use uh, ranged weapons if you're a ranger. Uh, since I'm a hunter, I'm either going to use my partisan if there's multiple groups of them, or I'm just going to try to keep my distance and use my handgun or mech guns to keep them uh, away from me and be able to take damage at the same time. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and P2, but I'm just gonna warp past this part. Once again, these are multiple guild chicks in the same room, so I'm going to try to keep my bay. I'm using my mech gun and my partisan. If you don't happen to get a partisan and you're a hunter, uh, just try to use a sword. That'll probably be your best bet, or vice versa. If you don't get a sword, use your partisan. Whichever one um, works out good.
I'm gonna beat this Sinnoh and then go ahead and skip past forward to the, toward the next part. Alright, now this is a cannon, and uh, this is gonna be the red one. It's gonna be normally you find them in a ring of canadines. So uh, what happens is when you kill that cannon, then then uh, the canadines come after you, smiling in circles. They take a lot of damage when they're gonna um, commit suicide. That's what they're doing. They're gonna explode um, once they come in contact with you. Notice how I'm dodging the enemy laser attack. Um, I've been doing that um, a lot often. Once you get the timing of the shot down, you can gently slide to the left or slide to the right, depending on um, where the shot's coming from or if you're trying to invade other enemies to dodge the laser. Beat this son of gold and then move to fourth in the next part. Okay, well, that's officially it. The mines is complete. And uh, yeah, it's, like I said, it's a little bit difficult, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be alright.